welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to check out a brand new toy line that definitely harkens back to the good old days of when food and everyday household office items came to life and then fought each other to the death. That old chestnut, right? So we have the 9 to 5 Warriors, created by Brandon Braswell, and this is just... Amazing, I have to say. Old school looking action figures on card back. Nine to five warriors. When you punch out, they come punching in. That's a nice slogan right there. And hey, that's some fantastic artwork. I bet you that's Turbo Pork. And yes, that is correct. He does amazing artwork. And you'll definitely know his artwork. A lot of it can be seen on Super 7's Reaction TMNT figures and the new Party Wagon box that they just did. Definitely check him out on Instagram. Give him an old follow. But yeah, this really uh, brings to life these characters with this old school looking artwork. Now, Major Eraser. Guess what? household office item he is right i like on the back side they've really created a world here not only do you get a little clip out bio right you can read up on him but it tells you the story and basically a guy is walking out of the office late night throws a energy drink into the garbage for whatever reason, it gets electrocuted, and all of that combines to bring these things to life. It's equal parts terrifying, but all parts awesome, if you ask me. And you can see all the different characters they have a coming, but today we will be looking at Wave 1. Here is everyone involved with the creation of these figures, so thank you very much for that. And if you want to know more, and if you want to get your own set of action figures for the 9to5 Warriors, head over to the 9to5warriors.com website, or check them out on their socials and whatnot. And just as an FYI, these are being billed as a 15 plus toy. However, if any of you retail buyers are out there watching, and I have a feeling you are, talk to these guys. Personally, I think this would be quite awesome to see on toy aisle shelves. Now, also within the water cooler commandos, <laughs> this one is just hilarious to me. This is Tech Sergeant Scotchy. And I like that when you look at these characters, you can hear the voices, right? This just lends itself so well to cartoons, comics, whatnot. You get the idea, right? They're very much tropes of what we've all known and loved, but brought to life in a very distinct, different way. Now, over on the villain's side, we have the Break Room Bandits. They are the food villains, right? So it's office supplies versus foods, and again, that turbo pork artwork is just really coming through on that package. But yeah, this is the main baddie, Colonel Custard. He's an evil donut. <laughs> That's awesome. Mad Doe, Creamer, Duncan, all the evil masterminds of the break room bandits. God, I love this. And then just, just to point this out, this is going to be my number one favorite. But this is a bunch of chips. <laughs> Commodore Crisps, they're evil chips like Pringles, Lay Stacks, you get the idea. They all form together to create one entity and they break off. It's just, just stay tuned for this. This is hilarious. Splits off into doppelgangers, outnumbering, you get the idea. This is going to be a lot of fun. Just going to tell you right now. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Make sure there's not an evil donut next to it. This is a look at the brand new 9 to 5 Warriors Wave 1. Here we go. And while I got all you food fighters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So we'll kick it off with Scorchy, and he comes with just the coolest weapon accessory I've seen in a while. Let's just be honest. Now, this is a battery, right? If it's not obvious. It's got a push pin as a handle, as a trigger, right? You can tell it's a battery. It's got that old school electricity bolt. It's got a flashlight switcher, all the electronics, and then it's a bunch of push pins that are rubber banded together at the tip, and they're actually quite pointy. I'll give it to them. That's fantastic. I absolutely love, that's some creativity right there. I would have loved if the switch moved, that would be kind of cool, go like, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, you get the idea. It's an electro zapper weapon, right? Now, Tech Sergeant Scorchy, I'm just gonna think of 
groundskeeper Willie this entire time. He's scotch tape. Get it? Right? Everybody gets it. And I love what they've done here. They've made him look like an old Scotsman or a prospector looking kind of face with the teeth. And he's got some plaid every which way, which totally works, totally rocks. It doesn't lose that whole scotchness of it. Now, all of these figures are very minimally articulated, but that's the point. It's supposed to be old school. They got peg holes, the arms, the legs, they move. Nothing in the head, unfortunately. I would have liked to seen a little rotation there. He holds his weapon very well, but I will point out I had to heat up the hand because he had a very tight grip to him. But once I did that, and you kind of get him holding the weapon for a little bit, he definitely releases his grip a bit to properly hold it, and you have to keep heating it up if you want to take it out of his hands. Through and through, this is thinking outside the box. I love what they've done here. One thing I would have liked to have seen, though, is in the goggles, maybe paint those yellow, give him some sort of eyes so it doesn't get lost within all that gray that's all over the face. But that would be my one nitpick, if anything. But this is good, and I will save this until we look at all the characters. But Scotchy has a little Easter egg to him. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be very cool. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see what it is. Now, moving on, we have the main good guy and he comes with basically some drill bit arrows and that's really well done. I like that, right? Totally different to get three of them. You also get much like Scotchy's weapon, right? So it's a paper clip with a rubber band and then you have one of those drill bit arrows already applied. It's not something removable, it's just all one piece. It's nicely painted, I dig that. Major Eraser, again, you can hear the voice, right? Duke from G.I. Joe or just Arlie Ermy, right? Something like that. But yes, you get the idea that this guy is in charge of something. I love the back right here. He has a Sharpie pen cap as his weapon holder, right? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I totally dig that. This works on so many levels. You can really have fun with this. And all of the arrows go into the sheath right there on his back. So I totally dig it. He's got a cigar. He's got an eye patch. He's just gritting his teeth. He's ready for action to go up against all that mean food. Again, very basic articulation. He has peg holes. Nicely painted. Nicely detailed. I will say that, especially in the pants. It's got a nice design to it. And with his hands, it may not look like it, but yes, he can definitely hold his weapon really well. You just kind of fit it between the fingers right there, and it looks stellar. So again, very cool. Very well done. My only gripe, my only nitpick, is that he's entirely too purple. Being that I think of an eraser, it's more of a light pink, I think they should have gone more for that color. He's a little bit too purpley, bubblegum, things of the 80s, 90s, things that I grew up with in that sense. But overall, that's a solid major general eraser. Now, we're moving on to the bad guys. And this is where I think I have a lot more fun with these. So you have Colonel Custard, and you have his shield, and of course, it's a coffee cup pull tab kind of thing, right? So very well done. It has all the words you'd expect. Everything's folded back already. Not gonna get any protection if those things are flying through that hole right there, but you get it. It's very cool, and I love this shield. Now, the evil donut, Colonel Custard. Well done. <laughs> this, if anything, is the most food fighter-ish of them all, right? Very cool, he's got the eyes, the very pronounced features, he's got that goo-filled donut with a bite taken out of it, right? Totally dig that. All the sprinkles. The cape is a little cumbersome because I do wish it had a plug or something like that where it would peg into his back. Now, keep in mind, I am moving him around for this video. Of course, he's going to sit on your shelf just fine, but something that just kind of held it in place just a little bit better. But the sculpt of the cape is beautiful. Again, he's got some basic articulation in the arms right here on the box. It does talk about his gauntlet with the spikes. If that could have been more pronounced or maybe something to clip on, I would have preferred to see that just to kind of give him a little bit more oomph. But again, peg holes on the bottom, basic articulation, and he can hold the shield no problema, right? Which is totally what I like to see. But just the overall expression, all the colors, he looks like a fun-filled donut, but then he's a jerk and he's evil and you get the idea, right? And that shield's not going anywhere. He's got a nice solid grip, but nothing you have to heat up like Scotchy. 
But I will say this, yes, I'm having a lot more fun with the food elements of this. I think that the personality really comes through a whole heck of a lot. And much like I said with all the other figures so far in this wave, you can just really hear his voice. He's evil, he's cackly, he's got like a Dr. Claw thing going on, right? Now, finally... <laughs> We're getting to my favorites of the wave. So he comes with a spear, it's a stick, a rubber band, and an exacto, right? So that is awesome. It has the number one in there, it says exacto, it's just awesome. Well done. Something that's a perfect weapon for a bunch of evil chips, right? <laughs> Commodore Crisps, my god. Not only am I a fan of Pringles, Lay's Stacks, I like those types of crisps, don't call them chips, but this stack of crisps has little tiny arms every which way. This is awesome, basic articulation, but the best part is he comes apart into three separate entities. So I love the way that that looks, and they all stand really well. That's another solid aspect, is that you can get them going in various shapes, right? Basic shape of a Pringles chip. How do you how do you make a toy out of that? Well, they've definitely achieved it. And it, all of it fits together beautifully. It's got little hooks in the feet. Those are not going anywhere. I love the bottom, too. These little flat eyes in the mouth. And it's just sadistic. <laughs> but I love it. It's all three laid out. There you go. This is wonderful. Just simply the best. And if you want to combine all three, yeah, that's easy peasy as well. Although I will say, it's a lot more fun to break them up, right? And then you look at them for a little bit, and you're like, nah, I'll put this guy back together. He's like a fidget toy, right? It's an evil fidget toy with an exacto blade on a stick. You really can't go wrong. I love the creativity of these. This is a lot of fun for this type of toys for this toy line. So you get them all set up on your shelf. You got Tech Sergeant Scorchy and you got Major Eraser and of course Colonel Custard and my fave Commodore Crisps. It's a solid wave one. Very outside the box and very refreshing. Let's just say that. Now, you've been patient long enough, so here's the Easter egg I wanted to share with all of you. Maybe some of you ordered the figures out there. You're looking forward to this. Unless you want to skip it. I don't want to ruin anything, of course. No spoilers. But you can separate Scotchy, right? You pull off his arms. You pull off the back of the tape. Go very easy with everything. That's just one thing I want to point out. Maybe heat him up a little bit before you tackle this. You get yourself some Scotch tape. You put it inside Scotchy, close him back up, and yes, he is a Scotch tape dispenser now. And you can do exactly what Turbo Pork illustrated on the box. It's functional, kind of, sort of. I would think, because those blades, the plastic blades, they're very sharp-ish, but they're not apparently sharp enough to break the tape for whatever reason. And don't force it, right? It looks a lot better where he's kind of using this tape to scale a dresser or an office computer desk, something like that. But dang it all, if that's not cool. Functionality, great form, that's a home run. That is so flippin' cool. <laughs> Now, if you were wondering, where do these scale? Well, they're definitely smaller. So I would say, and I would guess, that if you are a big fan of Food Fighters and you have the original Mattels, these will probably fit right in on your shelf. However, as they are smaller, you get to see, you have McFarlane, you got Mattel, you got NECA, you got Marvel Legends. They're gonna be very much their own thing in terms of scale. Now, you wanna expand upon this universe, well, the folks over at 9 to 5 Warriors definitely have you covered. And that's what I really like to see. There's a lot of heart put into this. You know exactly what they're trying to achieve here. And I feel like they've done that in spades. So you have trading cards. You have a comic book with these action figures. The 9 to 5 Warriors box which is supposed to be like an old school cereal box, right? It has factoids, it's got proof of purchase. It's got all kinds of games all over it. Find the nine, nine to five warriors. And I love right here where this guy's crushing the nutritional facts. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. But inside, once you pop the top and everything else, yes, there are trading cards. And I absolutely love what they've done here because they've managed to get that feel of old school packed trading cards. That's really unique to me. And if you look right here, you get to see all the ingredients, which is just hilarious. There's jokes all the way around, so that's why I love it. Water cooler commandos versus the break room bandits. Who are you going to side with? And you open it up, 
just like old trading cards. This was actually a lot of fun to check out. And you get a bunch in each pack. There are 28 cards to collect. So for those of you out there, if you want to go ahead and do this, and again, expand upon your 9 to 5 Warriors, you get to see all the different artwork. This is funny. It's Custard dousing a bunch of eggs. But you get the idea. You can collect all 28 if you so choose. And you got some great artwork to look at to boot. So definitely, if you're interested, be sure to check out the trading cards as well as the action figures. But that's not all. There's also a comic book tie-in as well. So you get to see all the water cooler commandos. You got some upcoming waves of the characters as well. So you can get to know them earlier on. Inside, I love to see all these sketches that led to the creation of of these action figures. And that's not an easy feat, right? To go from sketch on a piece of paper and then bring these into life. That's an amazing feat. They've really knocked it out of the park with everything here for the 9 to 5 Warriors. Congratulations. This is truly epic. So that will be my look at the brand new first wave of the 9 to 5 Warriors created by Brandon Braswell and all those lovely people. They have a long list as I posted already. They've all come together to create something unique, something very fun, and again, something very refreshing for 2024, right? They can't all be six-inch figures with multiple articulation. Let's have some fun with our toys, and they've definitely achieved that here. So thank you again to Brandon and everyone over at 9to5 for sending these out for the purposes of this video, and you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. So comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything 9to5 Warriors, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, and again, retail people out there buying stuff, you want something unique for your toy shelves, check these guys out. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.